In other words, come here. I don't want to always shoot. I don't want to shoot on Leroy always straight ahead of him. What I'll do, I'll shoot to the side where I'm close. Here. Same way to single leg. I'm here. One step. I'm here. Okay? Around this way. The arm goes behind the knee is the one that covers the wrist. Remember that. A lot of mistake is made in single leg because the wrong hand is grabbed. And what happens is the guy pulls it off. So as I go to here, here, this one covers into here. Okay? Covers tight. Because from this position, I'm always pulling into the hand. This way, I'm not pulling in. Leroy can reach down there and pull that off. Okay? Into here. He grabs there, pulls it off. I want to cover. Now, the next one. Oh, I tie to my knee. And usually your opponent would tie with you first. If my hands are low, and he tie me first, then I control his elbows. My first shot is underneath. I release quickly. My hands would hit the elbows right there, right below the elbows. It's here, it's here. Now, once I hit the elbow, I've got a couple of decisions right there. Okay? If I'm just hitting the outside elbow, I can hit an inside step single with my head inside. This is my favorite takedown. Here, I take the step, my head will pulse right in the middle of his chest, right like that. And once I make contact, I drive through the guy, outside hand over the top, this other knee will come around, head will be in the, in the upper chest, and uh, pull the leg out. If he's a good wrestler, he shoots me like that, and he tries to pull the leg out. If I stiff my leg, he can't really pull me. All I have to do is stiff my leg. If he hits me and drives into me, he can make me pop, and then he's got my leg on. So, when I hit a guy, I'm going to And the shot was basically like this, with a stagger leg, and you make contact, and hit the elbow up, and just step in. That's all I would do. And I would watch, and I would get good eye hand control, and I would just catch him. Even if he's moving his arms a lot, trying to tie out, I'm going to catch his arm. I used to do a drill. Just catch his arm, wherever they were, right where he reached, I would just catch his arm. Just catch. And any time you catch him underneath, you can shoot. Any time you catch that arm underneath, And once I make contact, this outside arm goes over top of the inside arm. And I'm resting right on his shoulder, on his chest. As he's pushing it down, he's pushing it through his own body. And so it's not that hard to keep my head up. If I move back about an inch, then my head can go down. So once I make contact, my head is resting right on top of his chest. So he can't push it down. Okay? Elbow up, get the elbow up, inside step. Head right in his chest, and outside arm over the top, stepping toward the same leg, okay? So I'm staying the other way. Now I'm going to hit the elbow up, I'm going to drop, I'm going to just take a step, and now my arm's going to go here, it's like that. My head's still in the chest, okay? So the shot will be here, I'm stepping in. I step in, I drive, just like before, outside hand over the top. So from my stance, I can stagger this way, I can shoot that way, or I can shoot across. If I shoot across, I'm going to move to this, split him right about here, and then, again, hit this arm, step across, or hit this arm, step here. Okay. So, your wrestler can learn a little, similar to Doug was showing, when he shoots, I'm not strong, I'm hitting. One thing I would do, because I like to be controlling that out here, because all my shots are like this. So when he would shoot, I would put it in my elbows, which is holding. I want to hold him right about here so when he goes to back out, I would snap in. So the first shot is hitting the elbows up. And I want to control the elbows from underneath. Okay? And usually that comes from your opponent grabbing. Most guys will grab me on the inside because that's where they want to be. And that's where I want to be. Get close. Release the elbow, hit the arm up, step in. Is there any questions? This and this. That's what I want. The guy shoots a single leg on me, and he comes up, and he pulls it away, and he's pulling the way out of the go. I want the weight to go into him. <coughs> you don't want that. When I shoot my single leg here, it's up, and it's the minute I come up, it's into him. It's in him. The whole thing is in me. It's the same thing that you change as a direction. Here. There is no pressure on that leg now. When I'm holding this, He's got the biggest bone in his body between us. I want that out of there. I want that lever to my advantage. To finish, there's a bunch of different things you can do, of course.
would be able to counter my penetration. So what I want to do is get this arm out of the way. Ideally, I could leave Mike's arm up there like that and I can wrestle. I got a real good chance of getting to his leg and scoring. <coughs> so what I want to do is get that arm out of the way. And we're going to do five techniques to this arm so that it's out of our way, we can penetrate and get to the leg. Okay, and the first one, which is probably the most obvious, is we want elbow pull. Just like that. Get the other side here. We want elbow pull. Especially if instead of him being so much inside, he's kind of hanging loose on the top of my arm here. The more he hangs on the top and on the outside of my arm, the more he is now becoming over top and I'm becoming underneath here. All right, so no longer is it inside outside, it's more over top underneath position. When I'm in that position, he's loose on my arm here, it's real easy to elbow pull. And as I elbow pull, turn my shoulder in, pull my shoulder in, pull his elbow. Same time, I'm putting my skills together here. I'm gonna start the elbow pull, I'm gonna change my level, penetrate to this angle. All right, quick elbow pull. Control that arm, right back here, just get a hold of him above his elbow especially your middle finger and thumb above that elbow, and then pull. In your stance down here, start my setup action. I got my motion going. There we go, on the way. All right? Probably the most effective setup you can do to get to the single leg here from this loose tie situation. I want this leg here. What's my motion gonna be like? Well, there's a couple things you can do here. You can step this direction, make my circle and step towards you, all right? I go like this, he steps towards me, I go down and attack. That's one way, very common. The other thing to do though, and I like this way better I think, is instead of going here with what we call a little drop step or a circle step, instead of going there, is just initially your motion is directly toward the leg. Okay, so instead of going here and making a step, your motion is there. As I elbow pull, I'm starting to change my level, go in that direction. And then I'll go to my knee and on down the single leg. Okay, down and in, keeping your head up and in, getting to here. We want this angle. When we get to the finishes here, I'll talk about this, but we want this angle. We don't want to be square, you don't want to be square on your, on your opponent here. You're going to have this angle so that it's tougher for him to get your head down and counter you. All right? Self in the defensive position. What does Mike want to do to me here? Mike comes in on a single leg. I know as, as a defensive wrestler here in the defensive position, what I want to do is try to get Mike's head down first of all, but I also want to square up with him. Mike wants to keep the angle. I want to square up. All right, go down to both knees for a second, Mike. Here's where I'd like to be on defense. Squared up. Squared up with the man, good hip pressure. Legs going back, hips going down and in. And that's a whole other area, countering penetration. But that's what the defensive guy wants to do to you. He wants to pop his hips in, crunch you down, and square you up. So when you attack, you want the angle, and to get the angle, you gotta have two hands on the leg over here. Alright? This is where I wanna be. Now, in here and finishing here, one of the things you have to realize is when you're down low, you can also drive this up to a high head inside single. And again, that's a very common position, position I think you should be uh, you should work on and, and develop. So you take your drive foot here. We're assuming you got a good angle, you had a good penetration, you got a good position here. You drive off your foot and you simply drive high to a single. Drive up here. Single leg. Again, once I'm up here, two, uh, two things to keep in mind. When the leg is in the middle, all right? When the leg is in the middle, you can have the position I got now, which is I have an angle. I have an angle on this man. Or sometimes you wind up where you're more square with the guy. Here. But again, the same basic principles apply. Same basic position. You want your head up and in, all right? You want your knees flexed, your hips under you, and you want your elbows at your side. First thing we talked about. So I want to pull him in tight here and pull that leg down and in. So here's my position. The other thing that I end up here, I may end up here, or I may end up here. We're going to concentrate today on the single leg position. My head is inside. High single leg. Very important. Three things will be the key to success from this single leg position. Number one is that I have proper position and hip power. The only way I can do that, my head must be up. It'll come back to doing the same sort of things you would do if you had good stance. My elbows are in, my hips are in, and my knees are bent. 
I'm controlling that knee to me as much as I can. The second thing I've got to have is mobility, motion. I cannot stand still. If I do, he'll count. So I'm moving. I have to be able to change, keeping the position we talked about first. So I have position, and then I have motion. And the third thing, which can become the most difficult for anyone to relate to, is my position and my motion will make him react. The option that I do, the whole series that we work through, will be dictated by how he pressures me. As we go through the series here, we will create... Hey!